Hi, this is Monica with Daily Dwelling again. I am back with another process video, scrapbooking process video. This one is going to be um, quite shorter from the last one I did. Um, I was planning to do this process video tonight of the whole layout, um, but this afternoon I sat down and <laughs> started working before I started the video. Sometimes I just ready to get down to work and I started playing with some things and before I know it the layout was pretty much completed so um, what I'm going to do is just um, give you a look at how I finish a layout and the process how I save a layout this layout is um, being done for the product challenge at the lily pad this month and the challenge was to use um, a date element and so I am going to show you what I used. Um, I'm going to click off of this photo layer and its shadow real quick so that you can see the date element a little bit better. I'm going to um, come up close on that. This um, label, this date label, was included in the kit that I'm using. I'll go ahead and let you know what that is. I am using the um, mixed media kit um, that is a collaboration between um, some of the designers at the lily pad. This um, mixed media kit is put out once a month and you can get it on a subscription basis. So this is um, October's kit and it's um, homey themed. Um, so. Um, Anyway, that's what I'm using, and the date element was um, included in this kit. There were several different color date elements, and I'm using the red one um, here in this. And then um, I will show the photo back on there again in the photo shadow. Um, what I did is I placed this date element underneath my photo, um, and then I also put a date stamp on there which was also included in the kit. Um, the date stamp can be found right here. There it is. Um, so I placed it on the tag and I erased the part that overlapped over the tag from the part that's showing. I really don't care about the part that's, that's still left underneath the photo. No one's going to see that anyway so I didn't worry about erasing that. Um, and then I just typed in the date using a um, typewriter font. I used the Sophia by Heather Hess, Heather Joyce. And um, I did, um, I made about two more copies of that and just kind of um, placed them on top of one another to give it a stamped effect. And that is how I used um, the date element on this layout and so the layout is pretty much completed um, all I need to do is finish it up the first thing that I do whenever I am finishing a layout is I go through each layer and I make sure I have everything placed exactly where I want it to be um, cup you can see this little cup is on top of the chair I just make sure everything is layered so that it looks right, natural. Um, and then as I'm going through, I make sure that everything as well has a shadow. Um, some of these I just I used a shadow um, action, and some I, on some elements I created a shadow layer and manipulated the shadow a little bit more. I can show you how to do that on another video. So I'm just going to look through each of my layers. Again, making sure that they're placed exactly where I want them to be placed and um, that everything is shadowed. And it really looks like everything is. I always make sure, depending, but usually I make sure that my journaling is just right on top of the background paper. Um, and there's actually two background papers here that I blended um, just slightly to give them a good um, the look that I wanted. So after I do all of that, I'm going to come um, in here to 
file and file info and I'm going to put in um, my page credits. So I put it in the file description and then it is written into the metadata for that layout. Um, so um, for this I'm just going to write that this was done for the product challenge at the lily pad and um, I just used the one kit for this. Um, it was a M3 October 2014 um, kit and I'm going to go in here to get the names of the designers for that kit. Okay, this little butterfly wings. Lynn Marie, I thought just Jamie, but I don't see that on there. And just Jamie, published paper. And so I'm going to put in those designer names here as well. And I am going to, I have already saved this in um, TIFF format, um, and so I'm going to save that again now that I've written um, all the file info in. And this is my Photoshop save. Okay. Next, I will save a copy for printing. Go to File and Save As. I have a folder called pages print so that's where I'm going to want it and my 2014 um, dash 2 folder um, my 2014 folder um, is for layouts that have already been printed and 2014 dash 2 is for layouts that have yet to be printed just so that I don't get that confused um, and I'm going to save it as a JPEG hit save I want it at the highest quality, so I'm going to go up here to quality of 12, hit OK, and it's saved. Okay. Next, I'm going to save it for um, a web size, and I have an action that I use for that. Um, this action is Pi by Paisley Press, and I think it came in um, a digifile set at one point. Um, so I just click on the action, it's the 12 by 12 save. It works best if I'm viewing at 100% um, zoom, so I control 1, click on the action I want and hit play. Okay, so there's a note there that this action works best when viewing at 100% zoom, which I'm at, so I just hit continue and it does its thing. Continue. Um, I just use the presets that came um, with this action. It seems to work great. 84% um, for the amount. And this is under unsharp mask. Radius of 1.1 pixels and threshold of 4. Click OK. OK. And the save for web um, screen comes up. Um, you go in this little optimize menu drop down. Um, you can optimize to file size. Most galleries um, allow you to save layouts up to 249K. And just using this box will take the layout to um, the highest quality that you can have without going over this number. So click OK. And it's going to be 600 um, pixels. Um, width and height. Click save and then just tell it where to save. I have a folder. Um, I'm going to go up so you can see. Um, this uh, pages web under the year 2014 and 600. I also saved for um, 700 pixels for um, 
my blog um, because the size that I have there is, is closer to 700. So 600, click save, and we're done.